ESO reveals its next expansion, Gold Road, which will come out in June 2024. So another year, another DLC coming up, another annual 30 plus hour chapter to further expand the already mind-boggling expensive RPG universe of The Elder Scrolls Online. As we approach its 10th anniversary, Zenimax Online Studios have kindly reintroduced a fan-favorite feature, which is spell crafting, into this upcoming DLC called The Gold Road. For what it's worth, this classic feature takes a form of the new scribing system. So Go Road will release in June on all platforms, with PC and Mac versions releasing on June the 3rd, ahead of its console launch on June the 18th. As Zoss puts it, scribing allows you to collect and customize unique skills called Grimoires across ESO's open world zones through various means, and also has been described by Zenimax as a fictional precursor to what could become spellcrafting 1000 years into the future. It's exciting to hear that these skills, as mentioned by Zors, have primary, secondary and tertiary effect. You can alter and build this upon your socketable scripts. In theory, that opens up a lot of different variations for builds no matter what class you play and it could shake up a lot of the meta builds both in PvP and PvE. In PvP, recently the combat system has kind of grown a little stale. People rarely change their meta rotations as well as their meta gear sets, myself included. So this might be the game changing element that comes in and start to shake things up. I would expect in uh, traditional ESO fashion that once this DLC drop, anybody who owns this DLC and starts scribing will tear it up and become leaders in PvP overnight, while the rest of the people who haven't bought the DLC would be left uh, clueless as to why their games start to lag and why they are not doing so great in Battlegrounds and Zero Deal anymore. And this would last for about a month or so until a sizable amount of players bought the DLC and then Zenimax will come out and say, oh, we need to patch certain things and then you get a nerf, all right? But hey, that's just me guessing. Anyway, back to the DLC. If you're obsessed with getting your character's visual style the way you want it to be, apparently this DLC has it covered. So at launch, Gorod will feature 22 collectible styles that can be applied to your customizable Grimoires. And the Elder Scroll fans who remember spellcrafting from Daggerfall, Morrowind and Oblivion will be pleased with this new system which will tie directly into the skill lines that already exist for all the classes. To that end, there will be at least one Grimoire for each of the major weapon lines as well as the world lines we are talking about like Mage Guild, Fighters Guild, Soul Magic, Assault, Support. It's been a long time since the Soul Magic line has gotten any form of change. So it would be good to uh, finally have something other than Soul Trap to use from that particular line. Above all, this new chapter will also introduce a new trial called the Lucent Citadel and a new main story. We know that Necrom ended kind of on a cliffhanger, so this particular story is meant to be a continuation of that. The new area is set in Westwood region of Cyrodiil. Uh, it's one of the iconic cities called Skingrad. If you play Oblivion, you'll be very familiar with this city and it is a fan favorite. The Westwood region sounds like a sizable area split threefold, you will find yourself exploring the titular Gold Road which is described as a deciduous forest with windswept fall colours, very autumn in, in its visual palette. Then there's the jungle rainforest inspired Valen Wood annexation and the arid Colombian highlands. From what has been shared by Zos, it sounds like you can simply walk into Westwood via Cyrodiil, Reaper's March, Craig Lawn or the Gold Coast. A new Daedric Prince will also be introduced, the 18th Daedric Prince, Ithelia, who without spoiling too much about her identity or her connection to the broader story, was first mentioned during the events of Necrom. So previously I mentioned that Necrom ended in a cliffhanger, so what happens is when you finish Gold Road, the main stories will allow you to unlock further quests that will resolve the combined stories of both DLCs. So Ethelia and her realm Miramore could very well make an appearance in The Elder Scrolls 6 if the game ever gets made. 
and so Gold Road may make it worthwhile to jump back into the Elder Scrolls Online, especially if you are intrigued by spell crafting and it might be a game changer to both your PvP and PvE play. We await with bated breath for some of these changes coming up. As usual, like and subscribe if you like the video. I see you in the next one.